Hello kids, welcome to today's math class and today we will do data handling. Introduction We are living in a world of information and technology, world of print and electronic media. In everyday life, we come across the numerical data in the newspaper, magazines, television, etc. Below you can see some clipping from the newspaper giving us numerical data about the share market and weather. The data may relate it to anything by the share market, population, cost of living, pollution, growth of an industry, of profit on industry group, etc. Numerical data help us to draw interference. This whole process of collecting the data and drawing interference is called the statics. This statics is the branch of mathematics which deals with the collection, classification, analyze and interpretation of data for making useful interference. Thus, it becomes useful when we are looking for information. In this chapter, we shall learn about draw and group data, making frequency table from raw data, reading and interpreting bar graph, the process of collecting data, presenting the data, making interference is deal in the data handling. Now, we will take an example. Marks obtained by 40 students in the class test of mathematics out of 25 are given below. These are the marks obtained by 40 students in mathematics out of 25 are given here. So, make a frequency distribution table and answer the following question. So, first we will make the frequency distribution table like this. Start from the minimum mark and go to the maximum mark. Clear? So, minimum 2, then 5, then 6 like this. Here marks. Tally means how many students get 2 marks. So, 1, so frequency will be 1. 5, 1, so frequency will be 1. 6, 1, so frequency will be 1. So, like this, we will make a frequency distribution table and answer the following question like highest mark, lowest mark, and range of marks. So, here this is the table. Maximum, the highest mark that is 25. Clear? The lowest mark that is 2. Range kya ho jayegi? Difference between highest and lowest. Means 25 minus 2 that is 23. Clear? If we mark a frequency distribution table for each observation, thus frequency table would be very large and it will be very difficult to read the observation. So, for convenient, we make groups of observation by taking appropriate class interval like 0 to 10, 0 to 5, etc. Given below as a group frequency distribution for the marks of fifth student in sign. Like the student, those who got marks between 0 to 10. 10 to 20 ke beech ke student hai, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Like this, we will make a frequency distribution table. Each group 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 is called the class interval. These are called class interval. Observe that 20 occur in both class interval in 10 to 20 and 20 to 30, but 20 will be included in 20 to 30, not in 10 to 20. Like 20 yahan pe bhi aara hai, yahan pe bhi, but 20 kis pe count hoga? It will be considered in 20 to 30, not 10 to 20. Clear? In the class interval 10 to 20, 10 is called the lower class limit. And 20 is called the upper class limit, like here, 40 to 50 is. So, 40 is lower class limit and 50 is upper class limit. Similarly, 20 to 30, 20 is called the lower class limit and 30 is called upper class limit. The difference between the upper and the lower class limit of interval is called the class size. That is called class size or width. The mid value of class is called the class marks of the class interval, such that Class marks 10 to 20 is 10 plus 20 upon 2, that is 30 upon 2, that is 15. Clear? Now, we will take an example. The weight of the 40 students of class are given below. So, here the weight of 40 students are given here. We have to make a group frequency distribution table and find what is the upper limit of the class interval 40 to 50. And we have to answer these questions. So, first we will make 
of frequency distribution table like this different class interval 30 to 35 35 to 40 40 to 45 45 to 50 50 to 55 55 to 60 like this will make the table now first question is 45 is the upper class limit of 40 to 45 40 to 45 eh? so 40 is the lower class limit and 45 is upper class limit 30 to 35 has the lowest frequency 30 to 35 only 2 clear 55 50 to 55 55 to 60 have the same frequency here 50 to 55 4 and 55 to 60 both are having the same frequency clear next is note to remember tally marks are used to count the frequency a bunch of 5 is usually made if frequency is more than 5 by crossing 4 marks by a diagonal line like here for 5 1 2 3 4 and this represent 5 clear next is exercise 4.1 Age of the player of the cricket team are given below. Find the range of the data. Range means the difference between maximum to minimum. Minimum age is here that is 17. Clear? And maximum, maximum is 36. So difference between 36 and 17. that is 90 that is the range of the data clear so you have to practice all the questions here next is histogram we use a histogram to represent group data by a class interval along the horizontal axis and the corresponding frequencies along the vertical axis thus histogram is the graphical representation of the group frequency distribution in the form of rectangle of equal width with the class interval as based on the corresponding frequency as height there being no gap between any two successive rectangle there will no gap like here clear the jagged line on x-axis has been used to indicate that we are not showing the numbers between 0 to 30 like here the gap should be equal like 30 to 40 10 ka gap hai, but here this line jagged line 0 to 30 the gap is 30 so this line shows that we are not showing the gap between 0 to 30 clear next is note to remember bar graph of group data are also called histogram now we'll take an example Draw a histogram for the following group frequency distribution. Here the class interval 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. Here the number of teacher that is frequency given here. So answer the following question by observing the histogram. So this is a histogram here age in years and x axis and numbers of teachers on y axis. So first question is how many teachers are of age more than 40 years? More than 40 years? 30 plus 15 so that is 45 next question that is how many teachers are of age less than 40 years less than 40 years so 10 plus 25 this total 35 of which age group maximum number of teacher are in school Kiski maximum hai? that is 40 to 50 30 teachers clear so like this you can answer the question by looking at the histogram you have to practice all the examples here. Next is exercise 4.2. Draw the histogram for the following group frequency distribution. Here the height of student and number of students are given here. So you have to draw histogram and answer the following question. Like first one is what information is being given by the histogram. So histogram can information there here. Height of student. Clear? So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. 
practice all the questions here. Next is pie chart or circle graph. Data can also be represented by dividing the circle into wedges. Such representation of data is called a pie graph. The pie graph are circular. Each sections of the pie graph show the fraction of the total amount. It shows the relation of the part of the whole. So, central angle of observation that is equal to value of observation upon sum of all value of observation multiplied by 360. Next is note to remember. The sum of angles of all sector is always 360 degree. Jitte bhi sector ka jo total hoga angle ka that is 360 degree. Next is construction of a pie chart. Working step calculate the central angle for each observation with the help of formula. Draw a circle of any convenient radius. Now make an angle of various observation and shade them with different marks. Now I will take an example. The following data show the worker of a factory in different religion. Alagra region ke jo workers are like Hindus 320, Muslim 150, Sikh 180, Christian 70. Now we have to draw a pie chart for above data. So total number of worker we we'll add them together that is 720. Clear? Central angle that is equal to number of worker of religion upon total worker multiplied by 360 degree. So we will find out the central angle for each religion like Hindu 320 is central angle 320 upon 720 that is total number of worker multiplied by 360 that is 160 degree. Muslim 75 degree, Sikh 90 degree and Christian 35 degree. These are the central angle. Clear? Now construction of a pie chart. So for that first we will draw a circle of any convenient radius. Draw horizontal line. So first we will draw a circle of any convenient radius. Then we will draw a horizontal line like this. Radius hoti na us tarike se. Clear? Straight with the horizontal line. Draw sectors whose central angle is 160 degree. So, first we will put the protector here and draw the angle of 160 degree. That will show the sector of Hindus. Clear? Then we will draw 75 degree that will show Muslims. Sikh. Then we will draw 90 degree that will show Sikh. And rest is Christians. Clear? Shade the sector with a different design. So, we can differentiate that. Clear? So, like this you will draw a pie chart. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions here. Next is exercise 4.3. There are 1080 students in a school. They come to school by different mode of transport. Show the related data. Here mode of transport and number of students are given here. We have to represent the above data in form of pie chart. So, here we have to find their sectors like for buses, 450 student, so 450 and total number of student that is 1080 into 360 degrees. Central angle find karenge first. Clear? 3 1s are 3, 3 3 is a 9. So, that is 150 degree. So, that is for bus like this. We will find the central angle for scooter, auto rickshaw and cycle and accordingly we will draw the pie chart. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions here. Next is probability. In the previous class, we read about the chances of an event, outcome of an experiment, etc. Here, we shall revise what we have read and learn more about probability. Let us look of some definition and example. An experiment is the situation involving chance or probability that led to the result called outcome. If the different outcome of an experiment have the same chances of occurring, we say that the outcome are equally likely. For example, if we toss an unbiased coin. There are chances of occurring head or tail is same. 
in this case we say that the outcome head and tail are equally likely clear next is experiment there are two types of experiment first is deterministic second is random first is deterministic experiment are those experiment which when repeated under similar condition give the same result or outcome clear agar kisi similar condition mein usko repeat karenge to outcome kya hoga same hoga the experiment in the science are deterministic because these experiments are when repeated under similar condition they give the same result for example when you measure the length of the wire using the meter rod repeatedly every time you will get the same length next is random experiment are those experiment which when repeated under similar condition does not give the same result every time but the result or outcome in the trial in one of the several known outcome for example when you toss a fair coin you never know whether head will come up or tail will come up similarly when you throw an unbiased dice several time you do not know to get the same result every time throughout this chapter experiment will mean random experiment the probability of an event is the measure of the chance that the event will occur as the result of the experiment clear next is possibility of the occurrence of an event that is equal to number of outcome in which event occur upon total number of possible outcome clear next is note to remember probability of an event cannot be negative probability of an event always lies between 0 and 1 if probability of an event is 0 it means event is impossible if the probability of an event is 1 that means the event is sure now we'll take an example the coin is tossed finds the probability of coming tail on upper face so total number of outcome kya ho jayega 2 whether it come head or tail so probability of going tail that is 1 and total number of possible outcome that is 2 so probability of coming tail on the upper face that is 1 by 2 next is exercise 4.4 the coin is tossed find the probability of coming head on the coin so total outcome whether it come head or tail that is 2 and probability of coming head that is 1 so probability kya ho jayegi that is 1 by 2 of coming head clear so you have to practice all the questions of this exercise next is things to remember Information in the form of numerical value is known as observation. Representation of data in the tabular form is called frequency distribution table. The lower value of class interval is known as its lower limit, and the upper value of class interval is known as its upper limit. The mid value of each class interval is called the class marks. The histogram is the graphical representation of group frequency distribution table in the form of rectangle of equal width. Pie graph or chart. or circle graph is drawn in a circle each sector of the circle in the pie chart represent a frequency of the corresponding variable probability of an event that is equals to number of time an event can occur in one trial upon total number of outcome in one trial clear next is multiple choice questions tick the correct answer in each of the following the probability of getting a composite number of the upper face of dice is डायस पे नंबर्स होते हैं वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स आउट ऑफ दैट कॉम्पोजिट्स नंबर्स आर फोर एंड सिक्स एंड टोटल नंबर्स कितने हैं सिक्स सो प्रोबेबिलिटी क्या हो जाएगी टू बाय सिक्स दैट इज वन बाय थ्री सो बी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो हियर वी एंड द चैप्टर आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द चैप्टर वेल नाउ यू टू प्रैक्टिस इट